How much would it cost? Theoretically, if you were to buy every single thing in ERLC that you are able to buy, like from start to finish, every single item in ERLC that is you're able to buy without game passes and assuming you have all the ranks for police team, DOT team, and fire team, how much money would you spend? It was a question I had at two o'clock in the morning last night when I couldn't sleep, so I figured it out. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna share the information with you guys because I figured that this is a bit of an interesting topic. I never really see this kind of thing be covered for ERLC specifically. So I kind of thought, you know what? I'll make a video and sort of go through all the different things that uh you can buy and how much it comes up to in total. Um, now, two things I want to dis just say at the beginning here is that one, I'm doing this based off of no game passes, so I won't include game passes in this one. And two, assuming you have the rank to unlock all of the locked vehicles beforehand as well, because as soon as you unlock a, a vehicle, or sorry, so as soon as you get a rank, you unlock the vehicle and it's free for you to get, so you don't actually have to pay for those. I'm going based off of, you know, assuming you got the both of those things. So the first place I started, which seems to be the most basic and most obvious, was civilian vehicles because you can go from the free Chevy Impala to the most expensive $1.5 million Bugatti. Um, and in total, the entire Civ vehicle cost, if you were to buy every single vehicle on the list that is in-game, would run you a major amount of money. $5,862,521 of in-game cash, which is crazy which is the most expensive on this list so far every civ vehicle if you were to buy every single one of them is almost six million dollars that's insane <laughs> um and so after that i kind of stuck with the theme of vehicles and jumped to the police team where i looked at the vehicles that you can buy without uh, without um Robux and without game passes, obviously the SWAT truck and things like that I didn't include because you need the game pass. Um, and once you get to said rank, like sergeant, lieutenant, whatever it is, um, the vehicle that you unlock is then free for you to use. So you didn't actually have to pay for those. So I went for the ones based off of the ones that you could get from the very beginning at your cadet rank. So for every single police vehicle, it would cost you $282,050, which is a lot of money. And then I did the, uh, the same for the other two team jobs where it goes to DOT and fire. So for DOT vehicles, um, it goes to 167,000. And for five fire vehicles, it goes to 176. 7,700. So almost just over $300,000 combined for those two teams, which is crazy considering the fact that that's only a couple vehicles because you do need to unlock them. So just about 300,000 for both of those combined as well. So then I went and thought, okay, yep, you know, that's great and all, but there are also civ jobs that you can do such as the gas station job with the tanker um, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go through, run through basically the price of all the separate vehicles and then also the combined price of all civ job vehicles. So the first one is the bank truck at 47,000. Then there is the gas tanker, which sits at a hefty 45,000. The tractor, which sits at 35,000. The taxi, which sits at 5,000. The taxi SUV, which sits at 19,000. The limo at 45,000. And the news van at 21,000. All combined, those combined prices come to a total of $234,000, which is absolutely insane that's a lot of money <laughs> Uh, but of course the only things you can the things you can buy in game aren't limited to just vehicles You have the ability to get guns stuff from the tool store as well as a house So I decided to look at the prices of all of those and then also combine those and see what the the total was for those as well So at the gun store if you were to buy every single weapon um, You know without you know game pass guns and stuff like that included you would be coming up to a total of fifteen thousand one hundred and fifty dollars for uh, every single one of those weapons for the tool store, you would come to a total of $6,080 for all of the equipable weapons, whether it be melee weapons, drills, scanners, etc. For a house, uh, the very, very basic house, the for five days, I went for the maximum just to kind of maximize this price or this uh, this total range, um, is $9,800. A lot of money for a house for five days. <laughs> um, so, with all of that being said, the total amount for every single one of these things. Um, coming up to everything that you can buy in game, the total cost of absolutely everything you're able to buy is 
$988,301, which is a mind-boggling amount of money. I don't even have that much money in-game, and I have got, like, just over $6 million. I I don't have enough in-game to be able to buy every single buyable item, and that's not including things from Game Passes as well. Um, so a total of just about $7 million in-game to buy every single buyable item that you can, including vehicles, houses, tools, guns, etc. I don't think I missed anything on the list. If I did, feel free to let me know in the comment section below as well, because, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes as well. I might have missed something. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I did, but if I did, feel free to correct me in the comment section below and add the new total if you want to as well. Um, but I also went to the liberty of figuring out exactly how many Robux that would be if you were to can buy in-game cash just purely to buy all of the items. Um, and that comes to a total of 12,880 Robux if you were to buy in-game cash to buy all of these items, which which is a lot, a lot of Robux. <laughs> so uh, 30, almost 13,000 Robux to, to buy everything in-game, buy the in-game cash required to be able to get that kind of thing, which is absolutely insane so yeah the total cost for you to buy everything in game is just about seven million dollars now i gotta say this is a bit of a different video i know i don't usually do videos like this where it goes over you know how much it would actually cost for you to buy things in game i uh i kind of like the idea and i like the style of this so if you guys want to see more videos like this where i do more sort of like you know time-based stuff or like you know more niche stuff let me know in the comment section below let me see what let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me as well um, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.